Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again to the Aura News broadcast. It is now time for our English Flash News edition, and over the next few minutes, we will be presenting a translated version of the Albanian news for our international listeners. In today's news, President Nishani paid a visit to Fier and Vlora today in order to personally meet with the people who have been affected by the terrible flooding. President Nishani told the residents of the villages that they must be cautious and aware of the weather as more trouble might be coming. He made an appeal to all sides of the political realm to unite in such cases of natural disaster. He said, I am here to express my solidarity with all of the residents who have been affected by this terrible natural disaster. I bring with me the solidarity of all the Albanians. The commitment of the state institutions is needed to get through this difficult time. I call on the residents to be aware of further dangerous weather and to cooperate with the authorities in order to avoid every risk, said Nishani. President Nishani also visited the flooded areas in the commune of Nova Sela. Our Prime Minister also paid a visit to Nova Sela today in order to have some personal contact with the families that have been affected by the floods. The head of the commune of Nova Sela stated that the, de the Democratic chairman has offended him by not recognizing his position during these days. Prime Minister Rama responded that he should ignore the opposition as they have been flooded since June 23rd. Mr. Rama said that the damage will be evaluated and that compensation will be made. He said, a detailed report of all the damage will be compiled and we will compensate all of the valid claims and we will support those who need help. In this phase, the most important thing is to focus on coping with the fresh inflow of water and later everything will be analyzed with great attention. We are gathering detailed information every day to help us make the right decision and we have the help of our international partners as well. Earlier, the Prime Minister, the Prefect of Vlora, and the head of the energy provider Osha E inspected the work that is being done on the banks of the Slavets River. Today is the fifth day of terrible flooding in Albania, and a continued supply of food is needed for the residents and for their livestock. Today's parliamentary meeting was primarily taken up by debates about the flooding in the south of the country. The opposition made more accusations against the majority, blaming them for failing to declare a state of emergency. According to them, the government does not want to compensate the citizens for the damage that was caused by the floods. The Prime Minister did not attend the, se the session today because he was in Vlora ministering to the displaced families. The Democratic Party found fault with this saying that he ought to have been in the parliament today to give a report on the floods. They questioned why he would choose this particular day to go and inspect the flooded areas. In the absence of the prime minister, the report on the flooding was given by the vice prime minister, Nico Pelesci. Mr. Pelesci said that a right and fair evaluation of the damage will be done and compensation will be made accordingly. The interior minister, Saimir Tahiri, also got involved in the debate, responding to the claims that there has not been enough help given to the citizens. He said, The citizens were notified of the coming flood on January 28th, and the emergency staff was established on that day. The government asked for the citizens to be evacuated on January 30th. All state departments were in total readiness to face this situation, said Tahiri. Minister Tahiri also explained the reason why a state of emergency has not been declared. He said, The declaration of a state of emergency is only done when certain criteria are met. The work of the emergency services did not stop because there was no state of emergency declared. You tell the citizens that we do not want to compensate them. And this is said by exactly the same people who left a debt of 37 million euro in the form of compensation to the citizens said Tahiri. Minister Tahiri also mentioned the floods of some years ago in Shkodr. The reaction of the Democratic MP Arben Ristani was very harsh. They did not declare a state of emergency because they do not want to compensate you. They have told you that they have spoken with Brussels in order to receive aid, but they cannot receive anything 
as they have not declared a state of emergency, said Vistani. Albania and Serbia are going to be cooperating on a major road building project. The road is going to be funded by the EU and it will run from Tirana all the way to Nish. In context of this project, the Vice Prime Minister of Serbia held a meeting today with the Albanian Minister of Economic Development here in Tirana. This agreement was part of the summit that was held under the direction of the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel. It was also included in the discussions when Prime Minister Edi Rama visited Serbia. This project is a good opportunity to connect the Balkans and develop tourism. The Vice Prime Minister of Serbia had this to say, We aim to present this joint project in May, when the cooperation will begin. This common project is an instrument for promoting the economic increase of our countries, but it's also a way to move together toward the EU. Serbia and Albania want to go down this path, and we are glad to be partners, he said. The Albanian businesses have once again expressed concern about the reimbursement of the value-added tax. The VAT reimbursement continues to be a point of stalemate between the taxation directory and the business sector. In a roundtable meeting organized by the American Chamber of Commerce, the Chamber representative expressed that the reimbursement of the VAT is one of the primary concerns of the companies. The taxation director declared that under the current law, the businesses will not be reimbursed for any period before the 1st of January of 2014. The residents of the Kustrimi neighborhood in Vlora held another protest today, this time outside of the parliamentary building here in Tirana. These are the residents that have been told that they must leave their homes to make way for the new Trans-Balkan Highway. They wanted to meet with the Prime Minister, but he was actually in Vlora, inspecting the flooded areas. They had hoped to personally meet with him, to hear him give assurance of the compensation that they will receive. The protest went on for several hours, and the protesters were met by the MPs Shkelcim Tsalami and Arbin Ristani. They promised to find a solution to the problem. Mr. Salami promised them that he will personally discuss their problem with the Prime Minister Edi Rama. Later, a few of the representatives of the group met with the Minister of Urban Development, Eglatina Germeni. However, the citizens later stated that they did not find a solution that met their requirements. According to the citizens, the government will offer a halfway houses to them for two years. They have been assured that the money of the expropriation has been provided for in the budget of 2017. The residents gave warning that more protests are coming in the city of Vlora. A new fund of $23 million has been made available in order to make improvements to Albania's uh, environment. This large fund is being provided by three entities, the Albanian Minister of Environment, the World Bank, and the Swedish government. The fund is intended to bring innovations in the sector of environmental services. The Minister of Environment, Leftar Koka, said that the electronic registry of forests and pastures will be done within the first two years of the project. He said that this will put an end to the abuse of the data by the forest services. The Minister of Agriculture, Edmond Panoriti, expressed that this is a very important project, and he feels that it is vital for the citizens to have heightened awareness about the protection of their environment. In art news, Albania is going to be competing in the International Berlin Film Festival this coming February. Eighteen filmmakers came together to create the film, Burneshat. They will be representing Albania with this film and attempting to bring home a coveted Golden Bear Award. The movie itself contains a strong message of awareness for women, and it is based on a novel by the author Elvira Donas. The film was directed by the Italian Laura Bispuri. The festival begins on February the 5th and finishes on the 15th and Albania's entry will be shown on February the 12th.
Ladies and gentlemen, that is all the news we have for you this evening. Thank you for watching. We will be back again at the same time tomorrow with more Albanian news in English. Thanks and good night.